Hi, I'm Donna Conklin. I made this while I was here in Hawaii. And I hope you like it. <laughs> okay, so I have um, three yards of waxed linen three-ply cord that I'm going to um, unspool here. And I'm going to fold it in half. Use that and I'm going to use the entire thing and then fold it in half again. Oops. It doesn't have to be perfect, but. And then you're going to fold it in half again. So you have eight, yes, eight cord, eight pieces of cording. You need to tie an overhand knot at the top. Just, that's the very top loop. That's good. Okay. Then you're going to come down and you're going to snip the loops at the bottom. Then I'm going to separate them so I have four sets of two cords. And I just came down maybe three eighths of an inch on each one and just tie an overhand knot. Just get it. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, it's not perfect. And then take another set that's close by and knot it same as the first. So you can overhand knot. Yep, you're going to do it three, four times total. As I started the hollow beads um, because I like the floats that I have at home and so I spent I literally spent one day where I just took nothing but clear glass and I just kept blowing I had off of a tube and just knew that it was going to be a complete mess and I just kept practicing and practicing I spent eight hours that day just blowing clear glass until I could get that I was not going to give up and I didn't have any shows or anything else to do so I could take that time to just play because I'm trying to get them so that they're about even. They don't have to be perfect but just about even with each other. Just I use my nails to slide it up to where I want it to be at but don't crank it down too soon otherwise it won't move, slide up where you want it to be and you, if you have to you can have it. Now we have four, almost the same, four knots. Now, we're going to take two sets and we're going to use one cord from each set so that we have, and we're going to tie a knot with those two cords just so that like a diamond. I'm gonna go a little bit longer, not maybe half an inch. It's if about it's about. So I'm gonna tie these four knots and then I'm gonna test it on my beat to make sure it's so now I have this knot and I'm gonna take the other cord from one of the first knot and then an extra cord from when it does not have the knot, so I'm taking this cord from the knotted second knot, and I'm going to tie those two together and repeat this. So now I have these two. Now I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to take, I'm basically just going around in a circle and tying knots. And I'm going to take my little glass ball and fit it in there to see where the next row of knots should go. And this cording is pretty stretchy kind of, so you can pull it. So now I know that I want Oops. This knot. Okay. 
gonna pull it so that this row is about right there. Ish. Just guessing, which is about where the it's about the same distance as the previous ones. So I'm taking again the two opposite recordings, one from each above. up a tiny bit higher, not too high, because this will help taper it down so it fits the ball better. Yeah. There we go. That was the last row. And now, center your knot over the hole. Or not, if you like the hole to show, show it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now, this is the last overhand knot you have to tie. Well, no, not really. That's a lie. <laughs> Get all your cords gathered up. Conveniently enough, there's your ball, and then all of these cords, gather them up. I'm going to trim off so that they're even. They all fit perfectly right through the hole on this scalp. And then your last overhand knot to secure the 